exercise 3.2 problem number 10 the marginal revenue in thousands of rupees functions for a particular commodity is 5 plus 3 into e power minus 0.03x where x denotes the number of units sold find the total revenue find the total revenue from the sale of 100 units given e power minus 3 value is 0.05 approximately so this is the problem so the marginal revenue function is given so 5 plus 3 into e power minus 0.03x our aim is to find out the total revenue from the sale of 100 units solution the marginal revenue function can be taken as mr equal to 5 plus 3 into e power minus 0.03x so marginal revenue so mr equal to dr by dx is a formula marginal revenue equal to dr by dx so my mr can be taken as dr by dx 5 plus 3 into e power minus 0.03x so cross calculation dx so dr equal to 5 plus 3 into e power minus 0.03x into dx this uh, function can be integrated on both sides so integration of dr is r again integration of 5 plus 3 into e power minus 0.03x into dx so in the problem we have to fix the limit limit can be already given total revenue from the sale of 100 units so this is the limit so r equal to 0 to 100 5 plus 3 e power minus 0.03x into dx. This integrand can be integrated with respect to x. So, phi um, dx. Integration of phi dx is phi x. Again, integration of 3 into e power minus 0.03x. So, 3 into e power minus 0.03x divided by. We have to take the coefficient of x is minus 0.03. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is 100. So phi x plus into minus minus 3 e power minus 0.03 x by 0.03. Our limit is 0. Upper limit is 100. So upper limit minus lower limit. Our upper limit is 100. So in the x can be replaced by 100. So phi into 100 and 3 into e power minus 0.303 into 100 by 0.03 minus lower limit is 5 into 0 minus 3 e power minus 0.03 x can be taken as 0 by 0.03 and 5 minus 3 3 cancel so e power minus 0.03 into 100 by 0.01 minus again this one is 0 so minus in minus and minus so minus soft minus uh, this one is become 0 so anything by 0 e power minus 0 by 0.01 into 500 minus e power minus 0.03 into 100 is minus 3 e power minus 3 by 0.01 minus to minus plus anything by 0 is equal to 1 so 1 by 0.01 500 minus e power minus 3 value is already given so e power minus 3 value is 0.05 approximately so e power minus 3 is 0.05 by 0.01 plus 1 by 
implies 500 minus 5 plus 100 equal to 595. So this is the revenue function. So total revenue can be taken as 595 into uh, results are given in thousands. So this can be multiplied by thousands. So it is equal to 595 double zero is the final answer. Question number 12. Given the marginal revenue function 4 by 2x plus 3 whole square minus 1 show that the average revenue function is p equal to 4 by 6x plus 9 minus 1. So in the problem is uh, marginal revenue functions are given. Marginal revenue functions are given. So if you compute the average revenue. So the marginal revenue function is MR. MR equal to the functions are given 4 by 2x plus 3 whole square minus 1. And this is the function. So MR formula is dr by dx equal to 4 by 2x plus 3 whole square minus 1. So cross calculation dr equal to 4 by 2x plus 3 whole square minus 1 into dx. Integrating on both sides. Integration of dr equal to integration of 4 by 2x plus 3 whole square minus 1 into dx. So integration of dr is r and integration of 4 into 2x plus 3 whole square is taken as numerator 2x plus 3 power 1 power minus 2 minus 1 into dx is equal to 4 into this integrand can 4 is a constant taken as outside this integrand can be integrated with respect to x so 2x plus 3 power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 and then we have to take the coefficient of x is 2 in the denominator and integration of minus dx is minus x plus adding some arbitrary constant k which implies 2 into 2x plus 3 power minus 1 by minus 1 minus x plus k so plus into minus minus 2 into 2x plus 3 power minus 1 minus x plus k so revenue equal to minus 2 by 2x plus 3 minus x plus k is equation number 1 when in the problem we have to compute k value so we have to compute k value means put x equal to 0 and r equal to revenue equal to 0 so put uh, in the equation number 1 so r revenue 0 means 0 equal to minus 2 by 2 into x value is become 0 so to minus 2 by 3 plus uh, x value is become 0 so k so k equal to plus 2 by 3 is equation number 2 2 can be applied in 2 can be applied in 1 so revenue equal to minus 2 by 2x plus 3 minus x k, k can be replacing by 2 by 3 so this is the revenue function next we have to compute the average revenue function formula is r equal to px so p equal to r by x this is the formula for average revenue function so p equal to revenue, revenue value already already get the value so this value is put into the place of r so minus 2 by 2x plus 3 minus x plus 2 by 3 by x formula is r by x so r by x so divide individually minus 2 by x into 2x plus 3 and again minus x by plus x uh, plus 2 by 3 by x so minus 2 by x into 2x plus 3 minus x by x plus 2 by 3x so minus 2 x into 2x is so by x into 2x plus 3 plus x x cancel so minus 1 2 by 3x so minus 2 by x into 2x plus 3 plus 2 by 3x minus 1 2 by multiply 
throw it inside 2x square plus 3x plus 2 by 3x minus 1 so this can be taken into cross calculation so 2x square plus 3x into 3x cross calculation 3 into minus 3x into minus 2 is minus 6x again these terms are multiplying by 2 so 2 into 2x square is 4x square 3x into 2x is 6x divided by 2x square plus 3x into 3x minus 1 so plus 6x minus 6x cancel 4x square by 3x into 2x square plus 3x minus 1 xx cancel so 4x by 3 into 2x square plus 3x minus 1 again 1x can be taken in the denominator xx cancel so 4 by 3 into 2x plus 3 minus 1 so the final answer is the average revenue function is p equal to 4 by 6x plus 9 minus 1